integrate 3x minus 1 whole divided by x minus 1 into x minus 2 into x minus 3. See, I am taking the expression alone 3x minus 1 whole divided by x minus 1 into x minus 2 into x minus 3. Okay, using the rules of the partial fraction, I am writing a by x plus 1 plus b by x minus 2 plus c by x minus 3. Now, if I take LCM, the LCM part is x minus 1 into x minus 2 into x minus 3. Okay, and the numerator will have a into x minus 2 into x minus 3. Okay, plus b into x minus 1 into x minus 3 plus c into x minus 1 into x minus 2. Is that clear? Now, since both the sets denominators are same, I can equate the numerators like this. That is, 3x minus 1 is a into x minus 2 into x minus 3 plus b into x minus 1 into x minus 3 plus c into x minus 1 into x minus 2. Is that clear? Now, I have to select some value for x to find the value of a, b and c. Okay. Now, now let us take the value of x as 2. Let x equal to 2. So, what will happen? This will become 6 minus 1 equal to this term will become 0 because there is a into x minus 2. Similarly, the last term will become 0 because there is x minus 2. So, we have only b into 2 minus 1 into 2 minus 3. So, 5 equal to b into minus 1, sorry, plus 1 into minus 1. Isn't it? So, totally b value is minus, minus 5. Is that clear? Okay. Now, let x equal to 3. So, what will happen? This will become 9 equal to uh, this two terms will become 0 because this has x minus 3 and c into 3 minus 1 into 3 minus 2. So, 9 equal to 2c into 1. Isn't it? So, 2c into 1. So, c equal to 9 by 2. Let x equal to 1. So, it will become 3 minus 1 equal to Ah, sorry, here actually when this is 9 minus 1, so 9 minus 1, so it is 8 by 2, which will give 4. Okay, when x is equal to 1, these last two terms will become 0, and this will be uh, 3 minus 1 into a into minus 1 into minus 2. So totally, a will be 1. By simplifying this, I will get 2a equal to 2, so a equal to 1. Is that clear? Now, I got the value of a, b and c. So, we already splitted like a partial fraction, isn't it? So, I am going to substitute that. So, integral a by x minus 1, so that is 1 by x minus 1 plus b by, that is minus 5 by x minus 2. Clear? There is a bracket. Then plus c by, c is, c is how much? 4. 4 by x minus 3 dx. Is that clear? So, I got the value of a, b and c and I substituted here. Is that clear? Now, I have to integrate. Since it became a, a single term connected by plus or minus, we can directly integrate this by putting the log. That is, this integration is log of x minus 1. Then minus 5 log of x minus 2, then plus 4 log of x minus 3 plus c. That's all. So, 
using the partial fraction integration is very simpler because if i expand this directly i will get a cubic equation at the denominator and we cannot integrate by the methods whatever we have seen before but using the partial fraction all the terms are splitted into a single single term and then if i integrate all the single term we get log x minus 1 minus 5 log x minus 2 plus 4 log x minus 3 plus 6 is that clear fine 